are doing Detroit Lions news today, and in this video, we're going to break it all down for you. We're going to be talking about the Detroit Lions Super Bowl or bust. That's what they talked about, so we're going to get into that. Jared Goff contract. Goff spoke. Talk about what he said. Taylor Decker. He spoke talking about contract and injury. We're going to get in that one. Lions new motto and Brock Wright's talking a little bit. And St. Brown did not show up to voluntary workouts. Let's go. If you're a Lions fan, check out the Soaring Eagle Casino on April 25, day one of the NFL draft. Myself, Herman Moore, Dose of Dion, Everything King, Spenmo Racks, Speakeasy. We're going to be having an epic time. Come and hang out on that night. Let's get into the first news here, and it's about Taylor Decker and him and what the new motto is for Detroit is going to a Super Bowl. He says, obviously, how the game ended was disappointment for us, especially because we showed throughout the season last year that the game that we belong in that position, said veteran offensive lineman Taylor Decker. It's not a fluke, but they made more plays than us, so they were the better team that day. Usually, I watch the whole thing. Oh, it's cool. It's the Super Bowl. I would love to play in this one, Decker stated. But yeah, I was obviously disinterested because obviously we were one game short of it. And it felt like we did belong and we matched up well with everyone. And that sucks for Mr. Taylor Decker, right? These guys were so close towards getting to a Super Bowl and it didn't come in to fruition. But for them now... It is a Super Bowl or bust, at least for the players' mentality. I like that. I think that's the way it should be. I think they need to have a chip on their shoulder. I think they need to believe that they are the champ, and they should have been there. I want them to feel this way. So they're more determined this year than last year. And they were pretty damn determined last year. So question for you, is it Super Bowl or bust for the Detroit Lions? Why for yes and, and for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We're going to also get into your about Jared Goff on the contract extension. Jared Goff is trying to get a contract extension right now. And they're working behind the scenes with the, you know, the agents in the Detroit Lions. This is what Mr. Goff said. He said, it's been amazing, man. He said, Dave Burkett of the Detroit Free Press. I love it here. Love to be here for the long time. It's been really special, like I mentioned, playing in front of these fans and being able to provide a winning culture in the last year of the half. So to see them experience that and be able to be a part of that is fun. But by no means are we satisfied or happy to be here or any of that. It's about what's next now. You never want to be to like say something like, there's discussions and Brad has said that he said to be the guys and I'll say that the thing. There's been discussions. Yeah, my age is the top fit. He's doing a good job. I trust those guys. What does that mean? Jared Goff's getting extended. I've been saying it. It's going to get extended. Now the numbers is going to be interesting. What are the numbers going to be? We're rumored to be 45 to 50 million. Probably in between that. I'm going to probably say it would be around $47 million. It's more than Daniel Jones, and he's much better than Daniel Jones. And you want to get this thing done sooner rather than later because when more contracts come up, guess what? The price goes up. That's how the NFL works. That's how contracts work. Now, look, I want to save the most money. I want the Lions to save cap money. And I'm sure Jared Goff is not an idiot. If he takes all the cap, well, guess what? He's not going to have all the players that he wants to have. Got to have players to get it done. So I'm really not worried about the contract extension. I do think it's going to happen. Just wait and see, you know, what the number is going to be. But clearly, Jared Goff wants to be here. Imagine... Be in a position where he got traded uh, from the Rams to the Detroit Lions. He thought his career was over. And three years after that, they're chanting his name everywhere at Ford Field, at Red Wings games, at even local cheer games. Yeah, they're chanting Jared Goff there. He feels loved as he should be. And just like Dan Campbell says, you're good enough for Detroit. 
Jared Goff, and he is good enough for Detroit. It's a great story to see this occur, and yes, Goff is going to be here for the long haul. Now let's go ahead and kind of get a little bit back to Mr. Taylor Decker. More about something different, though. Injury issue, because he was dealing with something last year. He says, I feel really, really good. Decker said Tuesday on day two of the Lions' formal offseason programs. I feel like walking around today as opposed to last game of the season. I think it's going to be even better. It's just gotten progressively worse. And it was to the point where I injured the ankle and it was putting more stress on the ball of my foot than the arch because of the deltoid was torn, Decker said. They went in there and did their special CT scan that they did, and they're like, we got to take it out. Your bone is necrotic. It's dying. So it hurt me forever. With two days after surgery, I felt incredible. I, l- I took pain meds for one day, walking around now. <sighs> Taylor Decker is a beast. This dude was dealing with injury we didn't even know about. He only allowed one sack last year. Taylor Decker is the epitome of a leader on this offensive line. They lead by example. He's injured, he plays. Frank Ragnow's injured, he plays. You don't think other people see that and say, well, we got to play too. We can't be weak. We got Decker out here grinding. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy. He's a beast, and I'd like to see him stay in Detroit for a while. So, question for you. Would you extend Taylor Decker? E for extend, P for pass. Let me know in the comments below. Because that's what we're talking about right now, because it wasn't just an injury that he was dealing with, talking about. It was also about extension in Detroit for the Lions here. He says, I think my agent and the Lions are on the same page, so it's very much an amicable conversation so far. He said, but super early stages, nothing of substance really, other than, okay, we're going to try and figure something out, whether it's multiple years or it's not, but we're very much on the same page, so I feel comfortable with that. That would be my goal. Obviously, there are a lot more parts than just me on this team. I look at it from my perspective and the best for me and my family moving forward, but they have a draft coming up. They have a lot of other guys there trying to sign for me that would be a knock on wood, a third contract if I go if I do get one. So you guys are out there going into the second contract, so there's just a lot of variables at play, but it's not something that I think of an issue. Yeah, and look, there's been rumors that Mr. Decker was going to get traded. I really don't think that's a legit rumor. I would be shocked that if it actually occurred. This makes more sense more of an extension or maybe a couple year extension. It doesn't have to be gigantic. Maybe a three year deal. Taylor Decker to the Detroit Lions and then he gets into about his 30, 30 what, 32, 33 years old is when the next one would come up. And that seems about right. It'd give an opportunity for the Lions able to, at least this year, you know, focus maybe potentially in guard or center. The next year maybe you can get a tackle, right, to groom And then the following year, you know, something like that. So I think that's the Detroit Lions mentality here because dude is a leader. And we just talked about it in the previous segment, how he was playing with a injured egg. He had to have surgery, two surgeries there. And he was playing through it. That's the type of player you want on your football team, right? A guy who plays through injuries. So he's still got a lot of football left in him. So yeah, keep him here in Detroit. I want to keep him here in Detroit. So I'm going to ask you again. Would you extend Taylor Decker? I'm not saying like some multi-year gigantic deal, but maybe a two-year, three-year deal. Let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and continue on this. Kind of like a twofer here. Brock Wright spoke to the media. He talked about the, the new motto in Detroit and his situation that he's dealing with, obviously, with San Francisco. This is what he said. So our exit interviews at the end of the year, I was talking with offense coordinator Ben Johnson. said, man, you don't think that pick in Detroit was the best decision you've ever had in your life, an unstricted free agency? I said that multiple times. But far, it's one of the best decisions I ever made. He wanted the Lions to match it. Matter of fact, he was getting nervous hours leading up to it because talking about property, right? He wanted to be here. And that's really, really good. 
And he said something that's very interesting. He talked about the new motto here. It takes more. We talked about grit. We've talked about many mottos. But it takes more seems to be the new one. I like that motto because we're so close, but it's going to take a little bit more. You got to push yourself a little bit more. You got to stay concentrated a little bit more. Now it's not we're, we're a team trying to compete. We're trying to get to a Super Bowl. We know we're good. Teams are gunning for us. It's going to take more. So I like that motto. Jared Goff spoke, but not about himself, about Amon Ross St. Brown, because he was missing from the first day of voluntary workouts. He says, we work together a ton of offseason. We're both in L.A. during the time off and a great rapport. Goff said, so yeah, we're good. Talking about St. Brown. It's exciting. It's fun to get back. I always love being back for this time of the year. It's a little more relaxed early April. You're still working hard, but you're able to hang out with the guys away from the building and build some camaraderies in that way. Enjoy the time together. St. Brown, they report first day. Who cares? I do not care. St. Brown is the last player on this team I'm worried about. Working hard or any of that. This guy is going to be a Detroit line for a long time. He it's it's voluntary workouts. St. Brown is not a diva. We don't know what the issue is. Could it be about a contract? It's possible because other wide receivers did that. But we know he's going to get paid. We know his work ethic and the camaraderie him and Jared Goff is top notch. I have zero worries about this. St. Brown is the epitome of a Detroit Lion that I worry zero, zero about. And I like that. Folks, we're going to be live for the draft on April 25, round one of the 2024 NFL Draft at Soaring Eagle Casino. So if you can't make it, come on and jump in the channel as we're, we're talking about this draft with a big, gigantic panel. With that said, folks, adios.